before we even put the canoe in, guys, there was a three pounder right next to it, though. She got the little one. The big one hit it. The big one hit it. The big one hit it and then spit it out, and she got the two pounder, but it's still nice. We just now started, guys. I haven't even got everything loaded in the canoe. He's two pounds. Oh my gosh. Hold it up for us. You ain't gonna get him now. He done scared him. Hold the, hold the fish up first for a second. That's a nice large mouth. Oh yeah. She got him on a chrome clown crankbait of some kind. I don't even know what brand it is. That's a nice two pounder. Yeah, he's 15, 14. Okay. Here. That's not a bad largemouth, guys. A good day to start. A good way to start the day. My goodness. Oh yeah. Hurry up. You already got all kinds of stuff in the canoe. All right, guys. Today is what's the date? It's the very end of September. I know that the 27th, 28th, something like that. We have 10 to 15 mile an hour southwest winds. Complete overcast until 11, which it's almost 10, so the sun's starting to try to peak out. We had trouble getting red wigglers this morning. Our goal today is to beat our all-time record of 15 species in one day from one river. We're going to try to get 16 species. It's going to be very hard. But it is a challenge. That is the challenge of the day. Is to get 16 species. We already got one largemouth bass. Stay tuned and see if it can just happen. We got the 15 species in one day, two years ago, about this same time of the year, and about the same conditions. If you want to check that out, guys, go to episode 100. It's called 15 species in one day from one creek, or something like that, but it's episode 100. I suggest you check it out. But like I said, stay tuned to see if we can get 16 kinds of fish in one day. <sighs> Got him. Oh yeah, big crappie. Wilma. Oh yes. Crappie. Big crappie. Black crappie. All right, guys, that makes two species. We got a black crappie. He's nice. It's a nice crappie. The white curly tail will never fail you. In a place that has multiple species, it won't let you down, guys. It's a simple three-inch riverside grub. But I am using a fancy jig head. Ones with the big eyes on the side. Fire tiger, black. That's a nice black. Man! I will take these all day. Nice black crappie. Heck yeah. The morning bite's almost over, but we'll have all day and all evening, so not real worried about it. Nice crappie. All right, hey, now we both got a decent fish already in the first 10 minutes. Let me get him back in. That's a nice crappie. That's not bad. We get one, we just gotta walk out and grab it if it's big. 
you'll get something on a worm. I'm going to use one too eventually here in a little, about 10 minutes. Oh, yeah! White bass. All right, guys, white bass, three kinds. We've gotten largemouth, black crappie, and now white bass. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Here. Need a rod holder. That's real good for her, I guess. You got a lot of slack in your line, too, but I guess if you get a fish, you'll know. Nice. White bass on the three inch curly tail. White curly tail. I've been having real bad luck with these. They just bite the tails and have them. Little sunfish and bluegill. Hold on. Hurry up. I'm trying. I can bite. Alright, guys. Oh, you do? Alright, guys. Are you even aiming at me? Nice little white bass. I'm happy with it. Alright. Yeah, you do got a bite, I think. Sure do. Alright, guys. He's a small one, but it is a white bass that gets us up to three species now. 13 to go. Can we do it? Stay tuned to find out. Oh, there's white bass in this hole. We know that. That's cool. He fought hard for how small he was. He really hit it hard. That's what I had right here in front of me, too. I bet you. Well, we're getting a variety. Oh yeah, what do I got? It is a sauger. Sure is. All right, guys, new species, sauger. Four kinds. It's looking promising. I think we'll at least get 14. That's one of the rare ones that we needed to get in order to make the numbers high. Now if we can get red horse, carp, and buffalo. Look at that. It's a little cigar. I call them a cigar when they're this small. They just look real dark. Looks like a cigar. Okay, can you show me again? This uh, small one, he's only about 10 inches, 10 or 11. But I do love me some sauger. And he tore up my grub. Not completely. I might get one more fish off of it. Now, the guys, the reason I got him is I let my grub fall all the way to the bottom and I was dragging across. Good variety, huh? Yeah. We got the variety going, guys. So how many now? Four. Largemouth, black crappie, white bass, and sauger. Okay. <laughs> That's what you want to come up here. Oh. Yep, I like I like these better than walleye when they're big. They're prettier. Really colorful, look at that. See, and then they got the black spots in their fins, look. All right, guys, Sauger species number four. Little guy, but I'm happy to get him. Cool little fizz, that's one, that's in my top favorites is Sauger. Love them. I just like them when they're 18 inches and bigger. Oh man, this is big. I don't know what I got. It might be a drum or something, maybe. It's a bass. If this is a spotted, that's five kinds. It sure looks like it. Oh, that's hard to tell. I think that's a large mouth. Oh. Yeah, that's a large. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, large mouth. We still haven't got spotted. Guys, that's a nice, fat, large. Look at that thing. He's only about 13 inches, but he's easily two pounds. He's big for his size. He about got me hung in that tree. All 
I mean real close. I got that thing pliers. <clears throat> I'm sure, yeah, my grub is ruined. Oh my God, it just cut my jig head in half. These pliers, they cut too much. Now I gotta tie a whole new one on. All right guys, this is my first large mouth and it's a nice one, he's fat. Here, just real quick. You got cockle on your leg. You gotta pick those cockle burrs off your legs. All right guys, we're still at four species. Another large mouth. He's a big one though. For his size, he's only 13 inches, but he's about two pounds. He's just real fat. Nice one. Well, he put up a hell of a fight. I about lost him. You're gonna wanna pick those off your leg. I think it's a bass, by the way, it jumped. Bass. Could be a spotted though. Damn, is that on a worm? My God, no, that's a largemouth again. Oh, on that new that new crankbait. Guys, she just put this crankbait on. It's a Rebel. She found it at Walmart. It looks just like a perch, bluegill. It's blue, green, and orange. It's a Rebel brand. Man, that's a big one. He's three. He's a giant. Oh, man, it's going to be hard to get out. Good God, he and they are biting that good. Then you know, you know how I can tell because how deep they're biting. I just spent all day with pliers. Seventeen, seventeen, seventeen inches. See? All right, guys. Wilma's largemouth is seventeen. Seventeen inches. Yeah, seventeen. It's a nice one. All right, hold it up for us, real good. Gotta get a good photo of you. That's a nice largemouth. Down. Right there is fine. Yeah, there you go. Hold on. I'm going to get a good shot wow, there. Nice. That's a good. All right. She got him on a bluegill pattern crankbait made by Rebel. I don't even know what it's called, but it works. They are absolutely, every every fish we're catching today, guys, they are swollen the hook where it's hard to get them off. We, I wouldn't even use crankbaits. No, that's okay. I would use single hooks, to be honest. That was a big bass though. I see fish swimming around right in front of me. I don't know what it was, but they were right there. I got one. Man, look at this one. It's big. Oh, it's another white bass on the missile. It's a hybrid, I think, maybe. No, nope. that would have been another kind. Boy, it looks close. No, it's a white bass, but there are in here, guys. So we do have a chance at a hybrid. Ooh, he's barely hooked. That's a nice white bass. We're going to have a good day, ain't we? Look at that. Sauger white bass. Bass crappie already, guys. We, we already got a lot of the ones we don't get a lot of. We already got them. Still four. Largemouth white bass black crappie. And sauger. All right, guys. White bass number two. I'll just do this for him. Okay. Well, we're really getting them today, guys. This is this is fun. This is my favorite time of the year. I come here every year to this exact spot. Always the last week of September, sometimes the first week of October, and it never lets me down as long as you pick the right day. And this is it. We got west winds, no humidity. The high's only gonna be 80. Can't beat this, guys. These fish are putting on, it, we're, they're on that fall transition. My gosh. Yeah. One in 13 inches. But it's worth getting them. Because if I can get a walleye, then I get another species. There he is. Got it. I don't know. I think it's a white bass. No, it's long. 
Yes, walleye. No, wait a minute, sauger. It could be a saw guy. If it's got some black spots in the fins. That is a saw guy. Sure is. That is nice. I believe that's what it is because it does have some black spots in the fins and it's got a white tail. And it's got the colorful tail too. The not that's a saw guy. Okay, I need you to hold, film me for a second. My God, I told you that's what it was. Hitting me. I could tell by the way he's hitting it. Getting bigger. All right, guys, species number five. This is a saw guy, which is a mix between a walleye and a sauger. That's a nice species. Yeah, I think I'm 80% sure he does have the white tip on the tail and he's got black spots in his fins but not as much as a full sauger would have that is cool let me take him off that's a that ain't a bad sized one either no, is it it's not got him on the missile <laughs> no. no oh i thought you were done no that's pretty piece what a beautiful saw guy guys we got five species now. That is a cool fish. It's not giant, but I like them. Doesn't matter what size they are for me. Okay. Wow. Nice one. Yeah. My goodness. What a beauty, guys. Now that's what I came for right there. A bunch of these. We're having a good day. I already caught two white bass and two saw girl saw guys that's awesome wilma's on one oh you got something big another bass they're all largemouth today there's no spotted this is usually nothing but spotted bass right here where's all the spots that might be a spotted actually uh I have to see the eyes first. No, that's a largemouth again. Real weird shape, though. They're like... Right there. My God, this hole was worth walking to, wasn't it? I'd say. Yeah, it's a nice one. My gosh. Okay. My goodness. Guys, we're doing really good. Until I just got hung anyway. Was doing good. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is switch back. Or I'm going to put a pink pulsar on and see what that can do. See if that'll do me some justice. I know them saugers will love it. They will absolutely destroy this thing. I'll probably catch more of them on this. Sauger on the pink. I would say, I'm going to scrape my lure along the bottom. That ain't going to work. I could have caught more doing that, but now I can't. This is how you got to test the holes out, though. I could have caught another sauger or saw guy doing that. Five kinds. Just imagine if we had minnows. Yeah. Minnow and bobber. <laughs> I guarantee I could go up to that next hole and get one too. Oh yeah. yeah. Large mouth again. That's weird how you can come here one day and catch nothing but spotted bass and then come back a different day and it's all largemouth and no spotted bass. It's really hard to explain, guys. It, sometimes you just have no answer, there's no explanation for it. All right, that's a nice largemouth. He's over a pound. I caught him on the 
3.25 inch pink pulsar with a quarter ounce pink orange and yellow jig head talk about a great combination right there they love that's the same thing i got hung on i warned you about that was your brand new crankbait mm. not bad guys yep another yeah, nice one guys here real quick I want to hold the lure up with it too hold on not bad guys all right I'm gonna get him back in we both lost a good lure here it was my nice one Gosh. I always got to land on a dead leaf. There can be one in the whole entire hole and I land on it. Oh yeah. All right, we got channel cat out of the way. Six kinds, guys, channel cat. We are up to largemouth, black crappie, white bass, sauger, sawgye, and channel cat. Six species. He's a little guy, still got all the spots and nothing to brag about maybe I'll get one eventually throughout the day that's three or four pounds if I'm lucky yeah little bitty guy no it's a I think it might be a real carp nope it's a carp mm-hmm that's one kind where we're after yeah regular carp common carp be careful, you're close to the water. He's barely hooked. He'll fall in. Hey, that's one of the kinds I'm wanting, but I want like a 10 pounder. All right, guys. Species number six common carp. No, seven. Yeah, channel cat was six. That's seven. Common carp, only about a pound, but that's one of the kinds we're wanting to get today because we haven't caught one in two years. <laughs> nice one. Yeah. Yeah stay like that for a minute that ain't bad though it's something yeah i want one of them but about 10 times as big is what i'm wanting oh man shiner no nope. bluegill there we go all right guys species number eight regular bluegill <laughs> we're trying to get 10 before we even get in the canoe and then we'll still have six good hours to get the other six all right we still got lots of species to get but this is bluegill species number eight all right species number eight Drum, nine. All right, guys, species number nine, freshwater drum. My goodness. Hey, it helps big time. I knew we'd get one of them eventually. I needed a picture of that, but threw it in before I could get one. I finally got a carp. It ain't the size I'm after, guys, but I finally got my first carp in two years. Looks like the same one you had. Yeah. <laughs> I want the big 10, 10 pounder. All right, guys, we're still at nine. Another common carp, but it's my first one of the day, so I'm happy here. Common carp. Fish. All right, guys, I'm gonna get him back in. Little baby, but there's big 
one rim here. Just I didn't get it. Uh. White bear? No. Carp? No. Carp? What's that? Carp? It's a carp. It ain't got no barbs. That's a... It's a carp. It's a carp. It just ain't got no barbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a common carp. Two of them. <laughs> Alright, guys. I just got... Common carp number two. Both small, but uh, hey. All right. My God, it is. Guys, I've got three common carp now and they all look identical. They're all yearlings. They were just born this year. You can tell they were born this spring. If I start getting ones with the same hook, holes in the mouse and I know I'm catching the same one that looks like the one you caught because it has the mm -hmm. doesn't it? it has the damaged scales all right guys common carp number three just ain't getting them big 10 and 15 pounders like I'm hope but I'm happy with just catching fish like this all day you may have to get more worms out there's five big bass over here. Five. I'm not kidding you. I got one of the small ones. Another largemouth. Five giant bass over here. And red horses. Alright guys, I got him on the pink pulsar and I hooked him really good here. Oh man, that's a nice largey. Nice large mouth. What a day, guys. Get her back. What a beauty. Yep, see, they're already aware that one of their buddies is missing now. Oh, Fred ain't in the hole no more. And they're like, where the heck is Fred? I just wish I could have got the other one. The other one was twice his size. Got another one. Please be a spot so I can get my numbers up. Oh, another one chasing him. Yes, 10. We got it. We got 10 now, spotted. Guys, we are at 10 species, right at five till noon. That was my goal. Now we're gonna go down and get in the canoe and go down and the mile downstream. What is it? Oh, okay. All right, guys, spotted bass on the pink pulsar. About a pound, pretty nice. Whew. My goodness. Guys, we got 10 species by noon. We could beat that 15 record and hit 16. There's hope. There is hope. Small glimmer of hope. We need a lot more kinds with worms. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it's a bass. Oh my goodness, guys, another sauger. Oh man. They love that pink and orange, guys. What can I say? Nice one. No, it's 
another saw guy. My gosh, yeah. Sure is. My goodness, two in one day. They're common in here because of there being a perfect mixture of walleye and sauger. On the pink pulsar, guys. Ho hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want you to film me. Number three. All right, guys, another saw guy. I don't get many of these. In fact, I only get them in this river. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you cover in your finger. There's a lot of them in this hole in there. Yeah, nice one. It's not a bad one at all. Decent size. Yeah, I haven't even seen any. I've seen a couple down below in the long hole, but they may have been carp. Guess what? Guess what? That's what I can Yeah, but guess what? It's a white crappie too. That's 11 kinds. We're going to do it today, guys. We got white and black crappie. That's a nice one. He's 12, 13 inches. All right, come film me again. Look at that. They're usually not up this far. Them are usually 10 miles down river. Oh my God, barely hooked. I mean, barely. All right, guys, species number 11, white crappie. He's a decent one, too, for this river system. He's probably 12 or 13 inches. You sure it's filming me? Yeah. It don't even look like you're pointing at me. Yeah. It never lines up or I something. I did it. Hey, that, now that was an unexpected catch, so that gets our numbers up, because white crappie are usually not That's down. That's really good, good open. They're usually not in here until the low land. It's a crappie. Yeah. My gosh. Okay. Hold on. That is a nice surprise. Okay. Wow. Look how yeah. barely, barely hooked. Be nice to release. Nice to oh release God. it. Nice to release it. All right, guys, we're going to get this white back in. That was an unexpected catch that I wasn't even planning on getting out of the 16, so that may help us right there. Man, it's a good day. It's so obvious now. Guess what? That makes 12 kinds though. Did you know that? 12 kinds, guys. Pure walleye. We're being quiet in this hole for a reason. Because the guy doesn't like people in it. But he can't do nothing. But I still don't like avoid confrontation is what I always say. I got him on the pink pulsar. Little 10 inch, 11 inch. Pure walleye this time. I don't know yet. I 
think so. It's acting like one. Alright guys, another walleye. That's five in one day of saugers and walleye. This is actually... Uh, I'm going to have to look at his fins. It might be a saw guy again. Yeah, it's a walleye. Alright guys, walleye number two, back to back. He's a little bigger, he's about 14 or 15. Yes. Spotted bass. All right, that's spotted bass number two, guys. On the missile. On the missile. Little guy. spotted bass oh my gosh I sight fished him I seen him go underneath the log and I threw it to him and I was reeling it in and I stopped it and he went over and grabbed it looks like mine that's I'm a giant scared. that's a giant spotted bass guys three pound spotted bass my gosh that was cool sight fishing him my lure and then I stopped it right in front of him and let it sit and he ran over and grabbed it. Amazing. That's three pounds. He's about 17 inches, 18. Gosh. Whew. What a hoss, guys.
old stump. I want to get him. Or at least try. There he is. Oh my god, it's a big one. Whoa. It's another three pounder, guys. Oh my goodness. Sight fishing again, and that's a large mouth this time. Oh my god, I gotta go show her. Another sight fish, large mouth. I seen him sitting there, and I, he fell for it. They're biting that good today. He's easily three. My gosh. Same thing. I seen him sitting by the log and I threw it right to him. And I seen his head going like that. Here. It's a nice bass guy. About three pounds. 17 inches. Nice bass. Sight fishing twice in a row. Oh my, I think I got a walleye. Yep. Oh my goodness, six walleye in one day, guys. Holy cow. I've caught six walleye in one day in many years, or saugers and walleye mixed. Either one in years. They just got them snail larvae on them. That's a walleye. That ain't a bad one. He's 17. Honey, show. Can you show me? coming wasn't it mm -hmm. look at that gosh wow wow <laughs> I cannot believe I've caught six walleye and saugers one saw guy two saugers four walleye oh man alright guys I'm gonna get him back in nice little eater walleye here this year you can't fish you can't fish from there to there or you'll get hung don't even try it oh boy something was trying to get on there bluegill
There we go. Big fish again, guys. Oh my God. Another almost three pounder. My goodness gracious. And I gotta go change my battery. Another two pound large pound. change my battery and then we're gonna go watch poles gonna have to get out so I can pull you. you. Got a different one. God. Dang, man. Guys, there was a four pound largemouth here and everyone keeps jumping in front of it. Now he'll never get him. He was after it and something jumped right in front of him, that little eight incher ruined my chance twice in a row now he's nowhere to be seen he's too smart now he ain't gonna fall for it i bet you there he went he left god he was big he was every bit of 20 inches oh lord wilma you got one all right, Wilma's on something here, guys. Don't look bad. Another walleye. That's seven in one day. My gosh. Seven walleye in one day, guys. Shady. My gosh. Seven in one day. It's nuts. That's the most we've ever caught together. Seven in one day. It wasn't even that deep right here. It's maybe four foot. I could walk across it. I just I just had one, I think. Maybe. See that or a pecking at it. I thought you had something real big. That was a walleye that time. Yeah. No. Most of the saugers are up that left creek. Not all of them, but most of them.
Oh, crappie! Man! Nice! Black crappie. Mm-hmm. My goodness, we've got a good variety today. He's not bad. I'll zoom in on you. Hold on. That's a nice one. All right, well, we got her first crappie of the day, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice black. A little bit down. Now I gotta unzoom because it's too strong. There we go. Good job, man. Good variety today. Really, only the drum to me was the only junk fish. He's about eight. About eight inches. Yep, it's a big one too. Whatever it is, I'm thinking it's a bass. Yep, that's a dead giveaway since there's no pickerel in here. <laughs> Not bad, is he? Every bass today has been two pounds. Almost every one. Or bigger. Only like two small ones. Alright guys, and I'm smart and grabbed him by the lip this time. Another large mouth. Not many spots biting today in this river. I ain't gonna complain about that. I'd rather get large mouth. On the pink pulsar again with a purple and yellow jig head. <clears throat> Alright. Not too bad. These are some good bass this year in here. It has phases that go through. Sometimes they're all pounds, sometimes they're three and four. Just depends on the annual floods and migration or whatever. Guys, we have absolutely caught some, a lot of species today and a lot of nice ones. Mine didn't stay on very long, and it wasn't very big, whatever it was. But this is, I think I got a smallmouth finally, maybe, 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 maybe. I might have a smallmouth. Yes, I do. 13, 13, 13, 13. Yeah. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Come on. 13 guys, 13. 13 kinds. Oh my God. All right guys, we may not get 16, but we got 13 and I'm happy with it here. I want you to, first off, can you hit flip my bar over? Just flip it over where I can loosen the line. Just flip the bar over here. Goodness gracious. Right when I said I didn't get a smallmouth yet, five minutes later I caught a smallmouth. Just like the Black River, we talked about white bass. Nice That's a nice smallmouth, guys. About 14 inches. We've had a, officially had an amazing day. We've caught every kind almost. I mean, there's still a few that we haven't gotten, but we've gotten the majority of all the game. We've got all the game fish, except goggle eye and warmouth. But other than that, it's just rough fish we're lacking. My gosh. <laughs> Whoever tells you to use natural colors in clear water, they're stu the, they're crazy. Give me the bright pink guys. Give me the pink again. 
Give me a minute. Thank me. I don't think there's any left. Maybe one. Two. I'm already two. All right, guys, let's get him back in. That's a beautiful small mouth, real dark. My goodness. Wow, we've really had a good day now. Isn't that nice? Bye-bye, Mr. Smalley. You got something. Crappy. Crappy. <laughs> no, it's a white bass. Really? Yes, white bass. That's a worm. Really? Yeah. Crappy. All right. White bass. It's a worm. Wilma just caught a white bass on a worm, guys. Red wiggler on the bottom. Really? I'm zooming, it's gonna take a minute though. The shade, it's too shady. I need to be pointing the other direction. Don't lose it. All right, Wilma with a red, red wiggler white bass. I'm still zooming. That's not bad at all. Yeah, man. A little longer. A little bit longer. Gosh, we've caught three of those now. All the same. Like 10 inch. Down. There you go, right there. Good catch, hon. Yeah, guys, we're doing really good today. This is fun. If I had money, I'd stay the night again, but. Okay. Good job. Nine. Carp. Nether, that's five common carp today, guys, and everyone's been exactly the same. It's all the offspring from this spring. No bigger one. Strange. Yeah, they're still decent because we don't get them often. <laughs> caught about 50 fish probably or at least 40 I would think travel and get out fish that hole it's basically two or three points with little hollowed out small spots you can get in oh yeah mouth on the pink pulsar. I think I'm just leaving this thing on. It's outperforming everything else I do. I haven't even tried a crankbait today at all. I know I'd do good on it too though. But you catch more walleye on these. He's about half pound. Pretty small. That's large mouth like number 20 though guys. Just insane. Lots of them today. on a little three inch yellow grub. Two bluegill in a row. Not a bad guy. Decent. A nice bass, I think. Yeah, largemouth. On a sour apple flicker shad, guys. They just haven't stopped biting all day. We had a few from two to four was kind of slow. He's another pound and a half, isn't he? Dirty on that one side. You ain't gonna be able to wash it. 
God, right after we just made all that noise. 5.30. Hold it up, right? Hold it on that side out so it's not dirty. You got the dirty side. It won't help. Yeah, it helped. All right, Wilma with another nice large mouth, guys. My goodness. Yeah, he's big. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get all the stuff here. There we go. All right, I got something nice, guys. Oh, yeah. Another freaking walleye. That makes eight walleye in one day. I haven't caught this many in one day in 20 years. Oh my gosh. That is just freaking amazing, man. I don't know where she is, what's taking her so long. She must have got tempted to cast along the way up here. Walleye number eight. Well, counting the sauger, two saugers and saugai, five walleye. That's just crazy. None of them over 15, but around here just getting eight in one day is amazing. It's actually crazy. God. That's what I always used to use is yellow to get that. That's, that's what I used to use here all the time, these yellow ones. Eventually gonna go up a hole, but I'm gonna wait till I change my battery. I'm gonna try here a little. Oh man, guys, epic, epic day. Another large mouth. Hardly any spots today. Like three out of twenty. That's usually not like this place at all. It, it's bizarre, and that happened at Apple Creek that one time. It was all large mouth. I don't know how to explain it, guys, but it's just freaking awesome. Yeah, real quick. Ain't that amazing? We caught 20 nice large mouths today. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. What joke? No. Joke. Got him. I got the bass. And it is a spotted. That's my fourth spotted, I think. Not a bad little guy. He'll go a pound anyway. 12 inches. Not a bad fish, guys. Oh yeah, oh, oh man, standing out in the middle of the river, guys. That's how I got him. Standing out in the middle of the river, like a trout fisherman, and got him. Very tiny little hole, man. Another nice large mouth. My gosh. And I had to battle the hem with my line wrapped around my rod at the end twice. Wasn't easy. Guys, he destroyed that thing. Destroyed it. Nether two pound largemouth. My gosh. Boy, the. This is one day I'll remember, that's for sure.
this has been one excellent day. My goodness, I did not think we would do this good. I sure picked the right day to come over here. It's only really get this good like this where you get that variety a couple days out of the year where everything is willing to bite.